everyone, it's Lizzie from Lizzie's Roll of Gems. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time since I've done a whipping chat, but here I am. Um, don't mind my nails because I can't get, I was doing the big clean and I got black hair on my nails and I've been having a hard time getting it off. It's slowly going off. But, um, yeah. So, I'm still working on my Lizzie Falcon, Be Quiet Bruna, but I am, I'm still working on it, and, um, I got the shoutouts today, I'm just letting my tablet warm up, oh my gosh, here comes all the notifications from Facebook from yesterday, oh dear lord. Okay. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, I didn't have any internet yesterday. We'll talk about that as well. So today I am using my happy, my beach happy pen. I love this pen. From uh, Diamond Painting Pals. And I got my new tips that I got from the retreat in it. I got my new tray that I got from the retreat with the new lid. I like it. It's like a rainbow-y one and I've been using this one a lot. And yeah, we're just gonna... And I got one of my gnomes here. Luna broke the tip of it. Super sad. Because this was my favorite one. And I made it all the way to the US and back without the tip broken. And then Luna drops it off of my desk and it tip broke off but that's okay um let me get a color i'm gonna get the circle so this is a picture i'm doing for anybody that's new to my channel that doesn't even know who lizzie falcon is she is an artist from treasure studio arts which i am affiliated with um if you want to go to treasure studio arts i have a discount code of lizzie 15 to get 15 percent off no, I am giving away a TSA gift card in this video to one of my people from my shoutouts. Now the shoutouts for the last one, I put everybody, I'm going to put everybody in the jar and we're going to do that later on and it's going to take a while because um, it's a lot of work and I might just show the pictures on the tablet instead of dubbing them in. Because there is a lot of them. And everybody is going into the jar. So. Um, life has been busy this summer. Um, it seems like every time I turn around and I want to videotape something, somebody wants me to go somewhere or do something. So I haven't been able just to breathe and sit down and diamond pain. I could have done this a little bit yesterday, but but I didn't have any internet so I knew I couldn't do the shoutouts. So I kind of like put it off because there was no internet for the whole entire day. I just woke up right now and yay, the internet is back. And everybody was starting to make me worried because they're saying we might not get it back until Monday. I'm like no hope. Please no. So, the internet problem has been solved. Ron Rogers never really told any, uh, anybody what the problem was, just that they're dealing with the situation. But that wasn't helping all of us in Ontario. Everywhere you went, you had to use cash because none of the debit machines were working. So, and this was saying that the credit machine was working at Tim Hortons, but not the debit. And I'm like, well, how is that even possible? It's the same machine. But anyways, I didn't understand that one, but whatever. It is what it is. 
um, what else, um, my friend, I had terrible news, this is why, um, I did not go live, because I had terrible news on, what day was I off? Wednesday, Thursday, yeah, I was supposed to go live Wednesday, but I got some bad news, and I didn't go. Okay, where was I at? Clem came in here to turn on the printer, so I do apologize, the printer is going to start printing any minute now. So, I got some bad news on Wednesday, I didn't feel like going live and be happy, cheery, laughy. Because the news I got was devastating. Um, so I had a friend. Well, she was my friend. But I haven't seen her in about a year or so. Because um, our lives went, you know, in different ways. And uh, she moved a little bit further away. And I was always meaning to go visit her. But I hadn't gone yet. But she started a new job, and the last time I talked to her, she's like, oh, I'll have to catch up. And I'm like, yeah, and um, I'm friends with all of them in that family. Like, mom and dad were always super nice to me. Um, love them. They treated me like one of their own daughters. Um, my friend Jessica, I know you've heard me talk about Jessica before too, but you haven't heard me talk too much about Cynthia, because, um, after my Christmas party one year, we kind of got in a little bit of a falling out, but we made up, like, way since then. But it wasn't, you know, the same. We used to talk on the phone, like, two to three hours at a time, and this and that and uh, she started on a different path in her life that I didn't necessarily really approve of didn't understand why they were doing this but her, her and her husband were in an open relationship so you know to me I found it kind of weird but to each their own you know if that's the way you want to have a marriage then who am I to say what the rules are for you but at first I felt like she was having an affair with this guy and uh, we had an argument anyways after a Christmas party but thanks since for the coffee honey. I love you love you too since then I uh, we've made up from that Christmas party, but anyway. <laughs> um, I went to Toronto with her on vacation, and we went to Ottawa. We had so much fun. She was one of my friends, like, she was close. We were close for a very, very, very long time. And I can't believe what happened. Um, I'm still in shock. I don't think I've, I've come to acknowledge that this is actually real, but she was murdered by her lover. And, uh, didn't know about this guy, because like I said, we hadn't caught up. So I didn't know she was seeing this guy. It was all news to me. Um, her sister calls me on Wednesday. She's like, she texts me. She's like, are you at work? If you're not, give me a call. And I'm thinking, okay, what's wrong with Jessica? Why does she want me to call her? And I called her and she's like, I don't know how to tell you this, but Cynthia's gone. She, and I'm like, what? She's like, she's been murdered. And I'm like, what? Because, you know, you don't think that something like this is going to happen 
to you, like, you know somebody that's been murdered. I don't, I've never known somebody to be murdered in all my life. Um, I do like true crime, but now I will look at it at a totally different way because of this. So, um, <clears throat> they found her Monday. The article says Monday morning. The cops have not released much information because, um, the, the guy she was with is in custody and he's being charged with first degree murder. So even at that, that sounds horrible. Um, why did he get charged with first degree murder? What happened? <clears throat> we don't know any of those questions yet. Her body has not been released back to the family yet. So we don't know, you know, that's why I feel like None of us, like, not even her husband has seen the body because the cops would not let him. So, for the cops not let him see the body, it's got to be bad, right? Like, I don't even know. Um, it's just, I don't, I just don't understand why was she, like, it happened in a town Mm, maybe it's a city called Chatham. It's close to Windsor, Ontario. Like, if you guys look at the map, it's like halfway, I think it's halfway between, like, Strathroy and Chatham, like, Windsor. Like, and then there's, like, lots of little towns, but I'm pretty sure Chatham is one of the bigger towns before... I think I've been in Chatham once, like, and by the looks of the paper, their crime rate is very high, which at first I thought I found the right article, like right after it happened, and this dude sounded really, really bad, and it said stabbing, and I thought, well, maybe that's what it is, and <laughs> but it totally turned out to be a totally different person to what this is happening so then I'm thinking wow Chatham's a pretty violent place like I don't even know so they found her on Monday morning we only found out on Tuesday so um yeah so if that tells you any indication her birthday was on Saturday I heard her sister say that people were texting her and she was not responding now I don't think I did not text her for her birthday but I think I put it on Facebook but I don't see any of the Facebook posts for her birthday maybe I didn't I was at work so sometimes when I'm at work I'll go wait and to wishing people a happy birthday or I forget altogether because I'm not always constantly on Facebook when I'm at work. But I knew it was her birthday. Because yeah, I've celebrated her birthday before. I remember one year I bought her a cake. And a gift card. And I surprised her. We were at her house. Me and Jessica, we went to the store. We surprised her with a birthday cake. And a gift card. And she was so, so happy that we did that for her. Oh, I love her. She was so funny. Like, she brought a smile to everybody. And she was so loving and caring. And um, for a long time, my, my stove broke down. This is before, like, this is before I even started diamond painting or anything like that. Um... My stove broke down the oven part and I didn't have the money to get it fixed or to replace it just yet. So we're going, we're doing buy without it. I would, I had a toaster oven so I was using a toaster oven and then she's like, you can't keep on living like this and not have an oven. So she showed up here one day with her husband with an oven that she had purchased off of, you know, just ask or 
It's Kijiji. I'm not even sure where she got the stove because she wouldn't tell me. And she bought me a stove and I still have that stove. So every time I go to make something, it makes me think of her because she got me that stove and she wouldn't let me pay for it. And I tell you, since she's given me that stove, it's worked very well. A couple of the, you know, the digital buttons are kind of breaking, like, and like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it still works. Uh, it still works. I think she got it off of some people that were upgrading their appliances and didn't want those appliances anymore. I probably went to stay and steal because these ones are white. <clears throat> Both my appliances are white. I'm thinking about buying a new fridge and then after the fridge is paid off I might buy a new stove. But I think I'm still going to go with white. I'm not going to go with the stainless steel. I might. But then I'll have a stainless steel fridge and a white stove for a while. I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't decided. But I think my next, my purchase has to be the fridge first. Because the fridge is not, not good. All the crispers broke. I think I only have one crisper left. Because the other ones broke. And I want, I really want the freezer on the bottom and the fridge on the top. I really want one of them. So because they seem to be a lot deeper than the ones on top that my my freezer like that I have is very small on top so I don't want to do that but yeah my beautiful friend Cynthia's gone I can't believe it what was going on between them I do not know All I know is that she had an open relationship with her husband and apparently he knew she was there. I don't know. To me it sounds all messed up. But to each their own. I don't I don't judge people for the way they their lifestyles. You know, I might not I don't have to agree with their lifestyle, but I know I could never do that, but that's just me. Um, but if both parties are willing participants, like it's no different than people being swingers, I guess. I don't know. I think she should have became a swinger because that would probably have been a safer setting. Because her husband would be with you. I don't know, man. This is all messed up. Now, a wellness check was done. So, somebody knew she was there. So, first I thought maybe it was one of the neighbors. But maybe it was her husband, now that I know he knew. Maybe it's thinking, boy, she hasn't come back from there. Where is she? She's not answering her text. You know what I mean? He might have started getting worried. Honestly, I haven't talked to her husband. Since this all happened, I've only talked to her side of the family. Um, her parents, devastated, obviously. Um, the thing I like about their parents though, they don't, they don't judge their children from their mistakes, you know what I mean? Like, they're very loving parents that would love you no matter what you do. I have noticed that but from them, from the years I've hanged out with all the girls. You know, I, I didn't, I only had one picture of me 
and Cynthia because we never took pictures as much as me, <laughs> Jessica, and Nadia did. Me, Jessica, and Nadia were always snap pictures because Jessica and Nadia were all... They liked to do their hair and do their makeup and we used to go out all together all the time. And uh, that family has just been a part of my life for so long. And I love them all. Like they're my sisters. So, yeah, it was very... So, so stupid. Like, why? I just don't... I just don't understand. I just don't understand. But and that is what's going on in my life right now. Crazy stuff, right? So, off to a different topic, because I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I really broke my gnome. I'm so sad. You know how long I've had that gnome without it broken? I have a lot. I have, like, all these, all these phone cases on my table, and I don't know why he doesn't want to put them in the market this weekend because we're being overrun by phone cases. Um, my niece <laughs> was so exciting. Oh, she's so funny. Um, she has a market. It's called um, Reese's Corn. Not Reese's Corner. Hickory, Hickory Corner Market. Because she lives on Hickory. By Hickory Drive, obviously. She lives in the old PP station. And, uh, it's a big property. And plus, it has a big driveway because it was a police station at one time. It's not anymore. It's her house. But the driveway is still there from when it was a police station. So, um, she has a lot of parking. And it's at the corner of... It's on the corner of the highway, well, if you want to call it a highway, like one of the county, like the little highway, it's not like the 401 or 402, which if you're in America, you don't know what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> but, um, or even the UK or Australia or wherever you are. Oh. So, we have a local radio station here in Strathroy, like, I was blown away when we actually got him, like, wow, Strathroy's got a radio station? <laughs> it's called My FM, and, um, she was on it for her, her market, advertising her market, and she was so, 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 they, they contacted her. Because she report like they saw her on Facebook, um, advertising her market, and they contacted her, and they pretty much did free advertisement for her, and uh, she was on there talking, and she was super excited, and um, I'm super proud of her. You know, she's doing something she wants to do, and she loves, and. Never thought in a million years it'd be about crafting, but it is, and she's got a lot of vendors. She's even got a food truck coming. Like, her mark is pretty cool. I gotta give her that. She does a good job. Um, and we we're gonna put our stuff out there, but now I'm saying, no, no, I'm not ready yet. And I'm like, what do you mean you're not? We don't have enough inventory. I'm like, seriously, dude, we got enough. Just wanted to see if it actually sell, you know. But anyway, he doesn't want to put it out yet, which is fine. Whatever. Um, should see if I got enough charge on my tablet. Yeah, it's not a tablet. It's my it's my iPad. I don't know why I always call it a tablet. But well, we got 17 percent, so we can probably do. Um. I feel like I'm crooked here. I could probably do the what the heck just spooked at me. The shadows, so I'll be back with the shadows. Stay tuned. back 
and her mom just posted this on Facebook and it says life is too short don't take one day for granted everything can change in a moment be grateful for all you have and all you all that you are remember who is most important to you and always cherish them life is a gift and we are blessed her mom's been posting things like that and it's it's sad and i don't think you guys want to look at my facebook feed <laughs> we're gonna go to groups and where's my group Where's my group? I haven't been on it for so long. We'll see, who doesn't show up? What the heck? What the heck? Oh, somebody's doggy. Disaster three. Oh, she was lost and they turned her into the shelter and they found her because the shelter is the people. Yeah, don't ask. Okay, I'm not going to find it this way. What the heck is going on here? <laughs> what the heck? What the heck? I don't know. How to find my groups. You know what? I'm gonna have to do it old school. I don't think anybody's posted in my group in a while. Everybody probably thinks, what the heck, Liz, you haven't even done, here's one, you haven't even done anything. <laughs> There's a lot on here, guys, a lot. Previous, oh shoot, what am I doing? Comments. Hmm. There's going to be a lot of repeats, so I'm not going to show the repeats because I posted this June 6th. Yes, I know guys, I know, June 6th. I'm not gonna put them on, um, I'm gonna make them big, but I'm not gonna put them on and then I have to edit it all. So I'm gonna do it as I go on the tablet for you guys because editing it will take way too much time. I'm trying to find where one is. This thing does not want to think right now. How do you get to the... All comments, like, hello. I want to get to the upper ones. See? Like, why is thinking? way too slow so we need more it's not at the top yet this thing is way slow as heck come on bring them all to me Okay, I think this is at the beginning. So, Berta. Berta has a lot in here, so bear with her. I know she has since completed this one. It's a little doggy. Um, from, obviously, Diamond Art Club. So, Berta. Oh, shoot. See, now I just messed it all up again. What the heck? I can't do that then.
Mm -hmm. I wonder if I uh, really guys, come on. I can't let it go this far all the time because okay, I showed you birds. I wonder this is another one from Berta. I wonder if I can just scroll up in local. No, but that's a way to get back. So here's another one that Birders did. I think it's a full crystal. I'm gonna turn off this light so it's not reflecting the picture. So it's a full crystal of an Indian. Chief, is that a chief with that kind of? I think that's a chief. And then a bird again with, and I'll show you because she's finished that one. So I'll wait till I go in and this is from Annette. It's very, very pretty. Maybe she's doing this for the pride. I'm not sure. I think it is for pride. Um, okay, I can't do it like this because then I don't know who it is. Um, working on a custom for of my daughter's art. Oh wow, her daughter did that. Wow. Oh wow, that is cool. Okay, Lisa Bradley, because I have a Lisa. I have two Lisas, but this is Lisa from England, and she did the train. Oh, I just the train from. Um, What do you call it? Wrangler Spangler. I can't think. I have this painting. I have not unboxed it. But I do have this painting that Billy bought me. Um, <clears throat> All Dogs Go to Heaven from Melinda. Very, very famous picture from um, Manny Mazzano from Diamond Eye Club. I always thought about maybe getting this one, but I never did. Um, Rainbow Little Dragon. Rosalind is doing this one. And, oh, it's so cute. I've seen a lot of people do that one too. I can't pronounce her name, is it? Per, Peral, uh, I probably butchered your name, I'm sorry, but is she is doing a very pretty, <gasps> I love this picture, I love how it's all black and white, but the candles have some light in them, and the flowers, that is a really pretty picture, um, oh gosh, what did I just do, okay, Nancy is doing something for do, 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 the Harry Potter. The Harry Potter along. Looks like it's a diamond art club. Kaylee is doing. I saw someone doing this one on the retreat, but she's from Australia, so she's actually reading a graph and doing this project, so. I think that's why it's taking her so long because she actually has to read the project. Um, Dale is doing these beautiful animals. Oh, look at the kitties. So cute. It's a 40 by 50. The 50 by 40. Gail does a lot. <laughs> She's like me. Um, and now she is doing, oh, this is a pretty vase. And it looks like it's from Diamond Art Club, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's cute. This one is from, I don't know who. But it's a scenery picture. Very, very pretty. Oh, she says it's from Craftably Deer Lake Square. 60 by 80, sorry. Sorry, I did not read that. Dragon Attack from Angela. 
Ooh, this is really pretty. I like this one. Oh, wow. Oh, shoot. It's from Diamond Art Club. See, there's a lot of Diamond Art Club guys that I don't know exist. Oh, she's doing a princess from... Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like her dress. <laughs> I like that one as well. Angela again is doing another one. This looks like just a few wall, but I'm not 100% sure. Yep, just a few wall from DPD. I'm not sure who that is. Um, I'm not sure who that is. But, um,. Angela again is doing another one. Just finished this one for the Phoenix one. Ooh. Very, very nice. Then we got Nicole from Nicole. Um, from, I know she's a lot further along than this. She might have put it in again. But this is her Harry Potter one. I love her little train that she made. Super, super cute. Um, Kimberly is doing uh, Lizzie Falcon. Yay! She just got a little bit started there. I don't know if she's done anymore. Amy is doing some cupcakes from um, DAC. Can you guys see this? Am I not holding it up high enough for you guys? Brenda is doing the Lizzie along. I'm pretty sure she has finished this by now because you know my subscribers love to diamond paint. Um, this is from Jennifer and she's doing Lizzie Falcon too. Oh look at all her stickers on her. I never thought of doing that. That is such a cool idea. Can I steal this idea from you Kimberly? Because I want to do this. But I don't have cool stickers like you. That is so, so cool. Here's Gail again with another flowery kind of picture. She does a lot of them. Angela made a scarf. I think it's a scarf. Well, she's knitting anyways. Crochet pot. Oh no, it's a blanket. Sorry, it's a blanket. Lena is doing this really, really long one that I would love. To, it would be, it would look good in a kitchen or a dining room, I think. But that's just me. Uh, Vanessa is doing um, what she called again. should know because Crashly loves this. Oh, what's her name? What's her name? I forget. <laughs> you guys are like yelling at me. <laughs> uh, Susan M is started. She starting her Lizzie. No, maybe not. I don't know what this is. <laughs> uh, currently working. Oh, yeah. Be getting ready to start Corella today. Oh, she's working on that one. And then here's her one that she's going to start working on. Um, Angela is doing this from Diamond Paint Shop, is it? Shoppy? I've never heard of that. Um, and then here's her girl. Ooh, she's starting to look really pretty with it, with the wings. That would be a nice one to do for, um, my friend and then here's Angela again with more of her I really like this painting <laughs> uh, from DAC and then here she is again with I'm not sure what it is and then she's she's showing them all over again oh she got a lot done on her just her just a few wall 
<clears throat> and here's Berta with the finished product of her Corella. So this is what mine's going to look like <laughs> when I get there. <laughs> I feel like her bottom half is a lot bigger than mine. I don't know. Hers was a bigger size than mine. She always likes to rub that in my face. Yeah, Berta. I'm talking about you. And of course, here's 37 that I have not given you a number, Lena, but it doesn't matter because you're all put in the jar. And this is Liz. Liz. Does not say Liz. <laughs> it says, friends are the family. What does that say on the bottom? I don't know. I can't tell. Too blurry. But yeah, those are all, everybody that's on this list is going into the jar right now. So I'm going to get that all ready, and then I'll be back with the winner. And I'm back. So I got this vase that my pretty flowers were in that died. And these are all the names of uh, the one I just did. So I'm going to put half in the bottom. Put these at the top. And then we're going to put the rest in here. And we're going to just move them all around. One fell out. Yeah, one fell out. I'm trying not to have the name showing. And then Clum's going to pick one so it's fair. Clum's here. Say hi, Clum. Oh. And he's going to pick one. Hey, try not to look inside either. I won't look inside. So bring your arm over here. Well, you don't need to make your arm look all fancy. I'm now not. I see your hairy arm. Just one. One chicken, one. And who does he pick? Da 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 da. Kaylee M from Australia. You have won a fifty dollar gift card to Treasure Studio Art. Congratulations, Kaylee. So Kaylee won. I know who she is. I'm pretty sure I have her on Messenger. I will message her and that's who won the first gift card. Now the jar is empty and we start all over again. So you guys got to put your names in next week. And that one will be drawn in December. And that one is going to be for Captured by Radiance. So the next gift card is going to be captured by Radiance. $50 gift card. This one is for Treasure Studio Arts. I already purchased it. And I will get in contact with her and give her her gift card. So congratulations. So we're going to get back to the whipping chat now. Did you miss me? I know you guys didn't miss me. <laughs> so congratulations, Kaylee. From Australia. For your gift card. See, it pays to get your name in that jar to get a prize. So, I thought for sure Berta would have got it because she had a lot in there, or Angela, or Gail. I'm surprised he didn't pick out one of their names because they were in there a lot. So, anyway. It goes to show, you don't need too many tickets when you do a raffle. Um, I'm going to continue on with this square. I do have some stuff planned for the week. I have two unboxing, one a Diamond Art Club, one from Captured by Radiance mm -hmm. <coughs> that I will be doing this week. And I do want to do... Um, Kind of like a tutorial, but not really. Maybe like a whip and chat tutorial. So if you're not interested in this craft, you can still watch because it will be myself. And you know, I'm new to it. So you might get a chuckle or two or three or four. Um, watch me do this craft. And I think I'm going to do that one. After, I think I need to finish this row. Because honestly, Verda is rubbing it in my face. And I need to get this done by the end of the month. 
and this is the only painting I've been working on. As you can see, I haven't done much diamond painting. But um, after I've done this row, I will take a picture for Instagram so you guys can all see. And I don't know, I did this whip and chat in the shoutouts today. I was supposed to go live with my friends. I don't know if they want to go live because I haven't talked to them. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Till next time, take care everyone. Bye! Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel, I be Super Tickle Pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video. And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.